Remember, two minutes left. Yeah, three to score two. Two after that, got to say something for yeah, the team has. Yeah, a bit of a roller coaster, I guess, of emotion. But I mean, the cliche of playing to a full 60 is true in that in that regard. So we didn't quit, and uh, I guess good teams find a way to win. What's the message among the team after giving up that shorthanded that really tires you up to move forward? Yeah, I mean, regu regularly it would be like a deflated bench, but I thought we kind of stuck with it, and our leaders are very vocal, so it was nice to hear that from them, and it was huge to get that goal from Timmy and, and build off that, and then we got on the power play and, and let the rest work. So, I mean, the bench was, was surprisingly pretty good, and I think we, if we can continue that, it should be good for us this year. So. Relief to score? Yeah, I mean, I I like to score. I mean, I know I wasn't bouncing my way maybe the first three games, but at the end of the day, it's only game four. So, yeah. um, you know, I, I've played enough games to, to know how you need to play. And at the end of the day, if you're playing the right way, some hockey god somewhere is going to shine down <laughs> on you and give you a goal. So, hopefully, uh, more on my side here. What was the message after the second period? Because you guys really came out firing up and uh, going on offense in the third period. Yeah, I guess that was it 1-1 one, one after 2. Right. So you just went a period, went a game. So um, that was kind of the message. And we got away from our, our details at times. But I thought overall we stuck with it. And like I said, the, the older guys came through for us. A couple of big goals by Tim Schaller. And the rest is in the books, I guess. Where... Uh Where'd the marching band hat come from? I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I can't give you a quote. <laughs>